PBS fired Charlie Rose today following a Washington Post story detailing numerous sexual harassment allegations against the longtime TV host. We're also learning more this morning about allegation, allegations rather against longtime Democratic Michigan Congressman John Conyers by former staff members. And these are just the latest in a long line of high-profile politicians and entertainment figures and others accused of inappropriate behavior. Joining me to talk more about this this morning is Seattle Times columnist Nicole Broder. Hello. Hello. Um, man, are we in some sort of a watershed moment? It, it, it's almost like a scorched earth. Yeah. Like, I cannot believe this morning I watched Gail King and Nora O'Donnell talking about their colleague, Charlie this man Rose. That they and have admired they have spent and enjoyed. all this time. And just last week, he was reporting these other allegations against right. these people. And I love Charlie Rose. I so respect him. And now I just feel like he's an idiot and a disgusting predator. And I felt these people are in our homes every day. He's in my kitchen, you know, talking, and I looked to him, and I depended on him, and I sent him a note when he had heart surgery. I was just like, wrote, he doesn't know me from, from Margaret Larson. And I just um, wrote and said, you know, I hope you're doing well, and I really missed him. And now it just feels, I'm sad, but I'm also really encouraged because I feel as though the women who are making these allegations and, and saying what happened to them. That's how, how I'm going to view it. So brave, traumatized. Everyone has been traumatized by these things. And, you know, and the uh, consequences are swift, which well, is wonderful. Well, and it's been wonderful. such a long time coming because right. there have been years and years of complicity to cover it up, people being told not to report consequences if you did, mm -hmm. um, you know, people being told, oh, I'm sure he didn't do that, he didn't mean it that way, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. And then boom, with Harvey Weinstein, the dam is burst. Right. And now, you know, it, it's just this floodgate that feels, I don't know, I sort of feel like we're going forward and backwards all at the yeah. same time and not quite sure where we're gonna end up. But the thing that I take away from this is, how can we learn these lessons and cement them into place so that we don't have to learn them again? For example, that when allegations are made, they need to be heard and the people who are making them need to be supported mm -hmm. and then we need to find out what happened and deal with it. But no more sweeping this under the rug, no more too big to fail, you mm -hmm. know, that when this happens, it's got to come out. Well, the galling thing about the Charlie Rose situation is his executive producer is a woman. Yeah, and, she and women feels went to him and horrified. said, "This this happened." She said, "Oh, that's just Charlie being Charlie." Right. And it no, it mm -mm. can't happen anymore. And the other thing about um, Al Franken, for example, as sad as I was um, hearing about this and reading what happened, and you know, it's a different degree of uh, this isn't a predator. I mean, he grabbed somebody's butt and he did some other stupid things. Um, but it shows you, I, I was almost encouraged by the fact everyone does this, everybody. It doesn't matter what your politics are, right. it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter. Nobody's cornered the market everybody, on this behavior. It's, it's everyone. So this, you know, in a country so divided by so many things, at least we can all agree that this is something that happens Way to too much, and that hopefully we can protect younger women in mm -hmm. terms of, first of all, speak up and yep. report this and know that we're going to have your backs, because we are. We're not going backwards on right. all of this. Um, stop smearing the victims. There right. are there are so many of these cases where young people, we've seen it in town, as a matter of fact, where young people have been abused and their lives are damaged and then later on somebody says, oh, well, they have financial problems or they've been promiscuous right. or whatever else. That is actually <laughs> symptomatic of suffering abuse as a young person. Mm -hmm. So we need to get real about this and also know that we can't tell from the outside. We can't tell who's doing this. People right. do it in secret to people they can get away with intimidating. Mm -hmm. So Charlie Rose may look like a nice man, but you know, this can still be possible. So we've, we've got to open up and see what's going on. This kind of abuse can't keep happening. No, it and I I really feel like it may not now. I mean, it will. There are a lot of scared people right there now. There are very scared people. Uh, around and the also, country. You know, and there are there's men good and men. boys there's who good are victims men out there. as well, and we need not to forget them, not just, <sighs> but yes, we both, we both have young sons, and I think this is one of those things where you have to say, look, um, pal, I know you're not going to do this, but, and I, 
better be right about that. <laughs> uh, but also you have a bystander responsibility mm -hmm. to speak up. That's really and, important. And do this and to wake up. And even my husband has said, you know, I knew this stuff happened, but I had no idea. It's just, you know, it doesn't happen to, to me, so I hear about it. But, you know, just to imagine that this has been going on for so long, mm -hmm. you know, I certainly have worked in a business where that was, you know, endemic in mm -hmm. the 70s, 80s, 90s, and you kind of knew who to stay out of the elevator with and all of that. But that's still the case to this day mm -hmm. with Congress. They have this fund where they've been settling these suits mm -hmm. with taxpayer money, and nobody knows who or what has happened. Right. How is that possible? That has to change. Mm -hmm. That definitely has to change. And now it will. Everything's, the, the rock has been turned over. And we're seeing all this stuff. And, and it's just, um, I, I'm encouraged. As sick as I feel, I am encouraged by going forward. And that, you know, the, the lights are all on in the room. Yeah. Everybody knows, you're, you know, men are seeing what happens. Women are seeing that it's possible to come forward. Everyone's kind of holding on to each other, and we're moving forward, and that's a good thing. But, you know, I don't know if I can, what am I going to watch on TV in the morning I, now? <laughs> There's just going to be some turbulence I'll watch Nora and while. Gail, who were t yeah, completely exactly. devastated this morning. Yeah. And, well, this know, is the reality of it. It's just sad, because this, this feels. This is the reality of it. Yeah. But forward we go to better times. Nicole is staying to help <laughs> lighten things up. She's going to join our New Day Hot Topics panel after this. Oh, boy. Thank <laughs> you.